All right, this is the first time ever we set up the wipeout challenge. It takes a lot of power. The generator's working hard. I don't know how I could fit all this in one frame. We're gonna try to make it go. It's gonna be a little, taking a little bit longer than a small bouncy castle that's 60 feet long, 15 feet high, and 15 feet wide. Well, let's see how this goes here. First time ever, right out of the container. It's shiny. The clouds above look like they might rain on my new bouncy castle. Hopefully not. It's going to be one massive thing. And during the day today at Cameron College, we'll do some live feeds of people actually trying to get across the wipeout balls. I don't know if you've ever seen wipeout with the big red balls. It's a kid's version of it, so each ball has a different theme, like basketball and tennis and soccer. We're going to have one of our uh, employees stand beside it and show you how tall it really is. Those windows are at about 9 feet. It's got all the caution. I don't know the rules here. I guess it's the same as all bouncy castles. No food, no shoes, no flippies. Well, I'm sure there's going to be flippies because you're not going to be able to run across the balls the first run. I don't think so. No rough play. No sharp objects. No tumbling. Well, there will be tumbling. I think that's a generic safety rule thing. And here we are. We're almost up. There's a climbing wall at the other end if you don't make it across the balls on your own. There's the basketball. There's the tennis ball, baseball, and soccer ball. So it is 15 feet high. And there's the one of our employees there showing the, the ratio of person versus inflatable and there we are we're blown up first time ever yay